I'm back at home in London right now and today is a fresh sunny day today's Sunday I would love to shoot outside actually on my balcony but my neighbors they're playing hide and seek out there in the gardens with their children so if you hear someone speaking in French or screaming in French that is my neighbor <laughs> uh, but anyway my mood is really good today because I've been waiting for today to show you central London I bought tickets so we're going on the open roof bus and the river cruise and so I hope you can spend Sunday afternoon uh, like a summer day trip in London with me to I'll show you all the grand iconic historic architecture around central London I had gone back to Asia in early summer I went to Hong Kong to see family and also I went to Tokyo with my girlfriend but I did not make any videos in Hong Kong because I was dealing a lot of personal and family stuff and so uh, it was quite challenging <laughs> and a uh, difficult time for me in Hong Kong but uh, anyway my friends uh, they asked me how's life in the UK and I still find the weather really difficult to adjust to because you know it's very unstable here Some yesterday it was really cold dark and windy and today it's really bright and summery uh, I'll see you know maybe I'll move somewhere else I, in my mind right now I think my next trip would be like Barcelona then I can drive to other coastal towns on Sunday and I just really miss the sun the beach and um yeah I'm already a bit nervous thinking that in September it will get dark very early and it's not too cold in the UK but the wind is very strong so uh, actually I thought about taking the open roof bus <laughs> during Christmas to show you all the Christmas lights but I cannot stand the wind so that's why I waited till summer and I hope you can come along with me today so I think I'll continue to live in London for a while and then I think if I want to go somewhere else or move back to Asia I think Japan is also an option as well I really like the food and um, yeah, I really like the culture as well <laughs> so yeah it's a lot to think about but um, yeah I'm single so I can move anywhere I like so this is the plan for today. I live in South Kensington, so I'm gonna hop on the bus. We're gonna go up to Palace Gate, uh, around Hyde Park to Notting Hill Gate and Bayswater Row, and then go to Baker Street, and then and then take the red line, and then take the red line. It goes all the way to St James and Westminster, and then go all the way, all the way, all the way to. Uh, Tower Bridge then I'm gonna get off at Tower Bridge and then take the river cruise back to Big Ben <laughs> and if I have more time then I take it again take the red line again to Buckingham Palace so hopefully the traffic will be very smooth and then I'll have time to make it so come with me
na matata. I just got off the bus at Tower Bridge so I'm waiting for the river cruise and then after the cruise I think I'm going to go home and watch the closing ceremony of the Olympic Games Seats of modern engineering even for its sign The two sets of bascules off the bridge falls in and out of the upper pool of London In fact, the Tower Road Bridge is the only one in the world to be registered and insured by Lloyds of London as a ship because it requires a crew to blend in with this building here to our right. That is the Tower of London. Started in 1078 by William the Conqueror. He Look to the river's wall on your left. You'll see the top of the bridge up archway with the words entry to the traitor's gate above it. That is where traitors of nobility who were rowed down river from the old Westminster Palace. Either side of us though, we have a few of London's newest buildings. To our left, you'll see the large car structure. Um, this was all constructed as part of the redevelopment of the London Bridge Overground Station. This is called the Shard, built to resemble a shard of glass. 
at 1,019 feet high. It's the tallest building in Western Europe. The next bridge, the fourth one to span this site, the New London Road Bridge. Now the first bridge that was built here by the Romans way back. And as we approach the Millennium Footbridge, dominating the skyline to our right, a real work of art. The magnificent dome and golden cross of St Paul's Cathedral, 365 feet high, which is easily remembered for being a foot for every day of the year. The dome of St Paul's weighs 63,000 tons, and is the second largest unsupported cathedral dome in the world. The Christopher Wren's tomb in Latin are these words, If you seek my monuments, look about you. Wren designed over 50 churches and cathedrals in the city, that of course was his masterpiece. Now, that can be found along the banks of the Thames. The ones on this lower side of the bridge are seawater birds that face the seawater source about 40 miles behind us at the estuary, and the ones on the other side of the bridge are freshwater with Sir Anthony Eden, and of course Sir Winston Spencer Churchill. We pass through the bridge, give them a wave up there, they're all having the time of their lives. Don't worry though, if they don't wave back, it just means they're from London. They've had a bad day at work. Golden Eagle, this is the Royal Air Force Memorial. Built in commemoration to the, to the gallant airmen and airwomen that died during the First and Second World Wars. The Eagle is made from captured enemy. They reside in this building, dreaming up new ways of spending our taxpayers' money. And what a wonderful job they do. And the most well known part of the building, other than the corrupt politicians that reside within it, is the clock tower. World renowned as Big Ben. But as I said, you will way, way back at Sower Bridge, and if you probably well and truly gathered already, I've got a professional guide. I'm simply your captain today. Hi everyone! I just got home and it's almost 7 o'clock now. <laughs> it's very convenient for me to come home from Big Ben from Westminster. It only took me 10 minutes on the underground, on the tube. So um, there are only a few stops using the district line. But um, usually during the weekend I stay home. I stay in my district, Kensington and Chelsea. And maybe I'll take a walk to Knightsbridge. But um, yeah, I try to avoid all the tourist attractions because they're so crowded. And um, yeah, today is a very sunny Sunday, so it was extra hot and extra crowded. And um, the buses, I got off. I took this bus called Top View. They have a few companies uh, that offers like rooftop buses like this. And I asked around, like this one called Big Bus, and it's like 50 pounds <laughs> for one person. And this, the reason why I chose these companies is because I asked if they have any special discounts and they said you can buy two days in advance and then that is like 20 pounds off. The original price is 59 pounds. Therefore, how many hours? I left home at 2.30, so I came back at 7. But anyways, yeah. I think coming to London for a few days as a tourist can be fun, but to live here is very expensive nowadays. Um, I got off earlier because there was a lot of traffic, a lot of people, a lot of traffic. So the buses were much slower than I anticipated. <laughs> they would stop at each stop for five minutes and then there was a like traffic jam again and then red lights and then stop and then oh, it was so slow. And I don't want to miss out on the river cruise. So I got off a bit earlier uh, and so I didn't take any shots of Buckingham Palace. Anyway, if you are planning on taking the bus during summer, <laughs> you better spend the whole day, you know, take one uh, tour in the morning and then take the river cruise during lunch and another bus tour in the afternoon. <laughs> so they actually, the guy who sold me the ticket actually told me to come at in the morning, the first thing in the morning, but I didn't listen to him. Because I'm like Sunday, I don't want to wake up so early for the bus. <laughs> but actually it's quite necessary. The traffic jam in London is like horrible and it's so crowded everywhere. I actually came here three times before I moved here in 2016, 2017 and 2018. So I stayed uh, for around three weeks in total. And I lived in central London. I lived in Mayfair, New Bond Street, and also uh, Knightsbridge, right, right next to Hyde Park. So I, I thought I had enough experience. And I actually went through the snowstorm in London. As well. So I thought I had enough experience. So I moved here by myself with my two suitcases almost a year ago now. And I've only made a few friends, so I feel quite isolated still. And um, 
usually I just stay home and cook by myself uh, and also it's quite expensive in London to eat out all the time and um, I have some nice bars in my neighborhood but I don't want to be drinking every night <laughs> I mean when I was in Hong Kong I met up with some friends and then we went to say an Italian restaurant at Grand Hyatt and the food I would give it 100 points but in here I'm paying double and sometimes the food is not as delicious as in Asia also in Japan I really enjoy the, the price points because the exchange rate is really low so um, I had no stress when I was in Japan and I could you know eat out all the time every single day and I really enjoyed the food hall at the department stores and the supermarkets as well I feel like the supermarkets in in the UK are not not satisfying at all I cannot buy what I want and uh, sometimes you know the fish especially the fish the fish is not fresh it's always not fresh I don't understand but anyway uh, I try to remind myself not to compare if I start to compare cities that is never ending you know um, and also for single woman I do think Asia is cozier especially in, in Hong Kong in Japan or in China like it's super convenient and super fast and you have everything at your fingertips so um, in the UK <laughs> especially on Sunday um, the supermarkets are closed after 6 o'clock so um, yeah but I try not to compare and uh, I've been thinking about my next destination I think Spain would be a really ideal location I really miss the coastal towns and uh, just have a coffee and then long walks on the beach that's one thing we don't have in London is the beach <laughs> and I really want to get a tan and then wear my swimwear and uh, take some nice po photos and uh, make a few vlogs about it and um, also Paris I really want to go back to Paris and visit my classmate and um, yeah have some champagne and <laughs> take the river cruise I, th I think Paris is still number one in my heart um, my heart just beats like I feel it's so romantic when it's when I take the river cruise in Paris yeah. I'll keep you posted <laughs> thanks for watching this tour of London I hope you enjoy a summer day and it's like a little summer holiday in London with me so I'll see you next time bye bye